another power outage. I don't know when the power went out, but apparently it did because my refrigerator is telling me it did. This is my hot mess. This is my area right now. It's my pile of books. Another pile of books. Don't judge. A book. Reading the Bible. A book that I want to try reading chapters, various chapters from about the authors. My pile of, my list of, my pile of things I need to do. Uh, so I'll read the Bible, mark it off, put it away, and then I will, I want to read this one and finish this this weekend. And I want, I should finish this today. I made great progress on that yesterday. Oh my goodness, so fantastic. This is a keeper. And then Prometheus had asked me a question. We were discussing um, the slavery in the New Test or the Old Testament and the way that the Jewish people used to do it. Um, it was a man had entered. Well, I'll talk about that later. Anyway, and then I wanted to grab these two books because these two books fit the Buzzwordathon for the month of June. And I've had this one a very long time. This one, I have, I think I got this one as new as 2020. It's, this one isn't that old. And I've, I've started it, started it a while ago. What in the world does that mean? I'm sorry, I just noticed that Prometheus left me a note and I didn't see it. Okay, that's fascinating. I wonder when that one... Uh, okay, I will have to talk to him about that when he gets up. <clears throat> so, I have a whole bunch of pile of little tabs, and you can notice that a lot of my greens and my blues are missing. Greens are, yes, it's fantastic. Blues are usually informational things that I want to study or research. I need more. I've been using these for bookmarks or for underlining. I also use these for underlining. Um, okay, so let's just talk about Harriet Beecher Stowe for a minute. I am actually sucked into the book, the story, for the moment. And, oh, my kitty kitty. Wait, my kitty kitty. That's Calvin. He was hunting a chipmunk. And... Uh, Calvin, uh, um, Hobbs was helping, but then Hobbs wanted in because he couldn't be bothered, I guess. I don't know. Hang on. You can see where the outside of my sunroom door is dirty. That's because Prometheus cleaned the gutters and it landed on there. So now I have to clean that because it, you give a mouse a cookie. You can never just do one thing and it leads to five more things. Calvin. Hi, Calvin. Hi. Do you want inside? Okay. Hang on. That's Winifred. And that's Eleanor. She was eating apple. And it looks like Winifred prefers the cherries. So I had a bag of cherries, but a lot of them are going moldy and they'll eat the good ones and leave the bad ones and I just do not have the patience to go through through it all okay can I just say totally off topic and if you're eating right now stop or skip this part because Prometheus brought up on YouTube last night doctors removing earwax and I was fasting, and it just made me so queasy and so disgusted. <laughs> and yet part of it was so fascinating because one ear, one person had pus in their ear, and there was a pocket in the canal that was like a, a hole that was creating the pus or something this was in the UK and and the doctor had to refer the patient to triad or something 
so anyway, the, the wax, oh, okay, I'm trying to kill myself. The, the, the wax in, oh, okay, let me, let me back up again. Okay, so one, one of the, one of the patients had the pus. One patient had mold. It was like mold growing on yeast, mold go, growing on, on bread. It was disgusting. It looked like they had spider webs in their ear. And then, and then there was another one where, okay, I don't know if that would, I don't know if they actually showed the candida thrush ear, but the doctor was talking about the different types of mold and bacteria that can grow. And he did mention candida thrush and how the ear would look and... <laughs> Oh, uh, Prometheus was getting great delight out of my disgust. <laughs> it is so crazy what our bodies create. So then, just watching the earwax build up and, uh, and how, okay, so how people's ears are shaped is fascinating. Because if your ear canal is wider and more like a circle, it's easier for the doctor to suction out or scrape out your earwax. And of course, depending on how much you have and how hard it is. Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> ah, yeah, Prometheus. He has a mean streak in him, just like his dad. <laughs> and he got it from his grandma. I'm sure he did. Uh, which is funny because she got her mother's laugh. Yeah, is Mean Streak DNA? Okay, but Prometheus is a, quite a very nice gentleman, and you would never know that my husband had a Mean Streak if you met him. Anyway, okay, I have to finish taking care of the animals. I think the cats are in the backyard trying to catch a chipmunk. Chickens are now taken care of. I think Sadie wants her morning walk. We walk her about two to three times a day, sometimes four, depending on the weather. We've been having rain. Uh, the humidity, yesterday was a weird day. The humidity is starting to come. Um, oh, this is interesting. Look at this. This does not happen every year. See the little seeds on the spruce? Interesting. I don't know if that's the name of it. I know it's an evergreen. Is it a, is it a cedar tree? Might be. Now we're coming over to the mulberries. Well, I'm not going to give them mulberries today because they got some of my cherries. Monday we'll go to the grocery store and because we have to go into town and we don't go into town every day. Sometimes we don't get, go in every week. And I like it like that. Because I don't like driving in town. Although I will have to say that we don't have the tourism, or as some people might say, tourism. Uh, we don't have the tourism like we used to before that thing that happened in 2020. Um, we used to have a bunch of people from out of state, a local state, but still a bunch of people from out of state who would come here and the traffic, ugh, the traffic was like California. I hated it. And, you know, they drive a lot faster than we do here. So they bring their citified ways. <laughs> That is one of the things that it is a double-edged sword that we have so many people come here or move here. Uh, so if they visit or if they move, they don't acclimate. And when I had first moved here, people knew I wasn't from here. And they were, they don't like outsiders, I'm just going to say. Do they have Southern hospitality? Yes. Are they nice? Yes. Are they still suspicious of outsiders? Yes. Do they want to be your bestie? No. 
the people that would talk to me knew that I wasn't from here but as soon as I told them that my family was from here and I was bringing my family back to its roots then that made it better but when they found out where I was from they weren't happy I'm sorry I have to keep blowing my hair oh oh is it raining or is it just that was weird uh it's like raining in one spot let me move uh Okay, I don't know how this happened. We have a stump right here. And it took off the Husqvarna deck. And Prometheus had to weld that Chinesium back into place. And this is what he had here. But how did this fall? How did this come off? It was dug in there. So Prometheus is going to have to get the awl. And dig another, drill another hole and put that back because we have that there so that we don't accidentally run into it again. So how did that happen? Did a chipmunk, not a chipmunk, a squirrel? It's my guess that a squirrel tried climbing it and it broke. I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense unless the wind we had was that strong. I don't know. <clears throat> I like these little plants because they grow little purple flowers. I actually think they're weeds. I don't care. They're beautiful. And every time I see them, they remind me of my oldest granddaughter. Oh, okay. I gotta go. I gotta go do work. And if you couldn't understand that, that I had to, I have to go work. <laughs> there are cherries growing on these trees. Unfortunately, they're only ornamental. Okay. For real now this time. I wanted to hop on real quick because I'm going to give Sadie an egg. And I remember someone asking me years ago, can you tell the difference between a good egg and a bad egg? While they're in the shell, yes. But when you crack them open, generally not unless the egg is super rotten. So I'm going to take an egg. I'm going to check the eggs to see if any of these are good. That is a decent egg. I would hard boil that egg. So I'm gonna give this egg to Sadie. She'll be perfectly fine with this egg. We would be perfectly fine with that egg. This one as well. So a bad egg will float. It will float to the top. And that egg would look, oh, excellent. Okay, so this egg is floating, this egg is bad. I am going to crack both of these eggs to show that they look like good eggs. Hang on a second. I will try and do this one-handed. I don't crack eggs one-handed, but this one is the bad one. Okay, that was a horrible cracking, but there you have it. And I'll give the shell back to my girls. Blech. Okay, that's actually an awesome yolk. Look at that yolk. That is beautiful. But that's not a good egg. I would not eat that. And then this one is the one going to Sadie. Ooh, look at that beautiful yolk too. Okay, hang on a second because I'm going to give these. I can't give a dog a raw egg because of salmonella and blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 but I'm not using a store-bought egg either. So, I mean, donate. I need to donate. And so I have a blouse here, and it kind of hangs really, like, off, not off the shoulders, but wide on the shoulders. I don't ever wear this shirt. I either need to start wearing it or I need to donate it. Yeah. Anywho. And then I have a whole bunch of <sighs> shirts, like this one, for instance, is stained. See, look at the sleeves. So it's fine if I'm wearing them, you know, to work on the, um, work in the yard and whatnot. But to wear just daily is 
nasty, in my opinion. In my husband's opinion. And the same with this one, too. So this is what I'm going to be doing instead of painting. Am I procrastinating? Shh! Don't tell. Okay, so just a quick go through. I didn't take everything out. I just knew that there were certain areas that I needed to pull things out. So I have two boots and a bag of stuff. Um, I think shirts. I don't think I have any yoga pants or anything in there, but a bunch of shirts and a few items for possibly the grandkids. And uh, yeah, now I have to help Prometheus with his studying. And I'm still reading Uncle Tom's Cabin. I don't know why it's taken me so long. I have no explanation for it. Just doesn't do it justice. Huh. Nah. 